Christmas Day sensation at Westminster Abbey. The Stone of Destiny, which had been there for some 600 years, was stolen from the coronation chair. You can see how the thieves tore it out, smashing parts of the chair in the process. And the initials JFS, thought to mean justice for Scotland, were carved on it. Then the stone was evidently hauled away, past the high altar, and round the south transept to Poet's Corner. Here, a padlocked door had been forced open, and presumably a car or lorry was waiting outside to take it away. Arbroath Abbey witnessed the signing of the Declaration of Scottish Independence in 1320. Now it's the place chosen for the delivery of the Stone of Destiny. Two of the men in the picture, Mr. Gardner and Mr. Thornton, were present when it was laid before the high altar. Mr. Wishart, custodian of the Abbey, took charge of it until police removed it to Forfar and presently to Glasgow. Yes, the stone continues to make headline news. Fifteen weeks after it disappeared from Westminster Abbey, where for 650 years it formed part of the throne of coronation, the Stone of Schoon, which was wrenched from here on the night of Christmas Eve, has returned to the light of day. In Arbroath Abbey, close to the grave of William the Lion, who built the Abbey, the stone was deposited by three men who remain unknown. As custodian of the Abbey, 63 years old James Wishart took charge of the relic. You are fake student of Scotland. And that thought surely will guide those who decide the fate of the Stone of Schoon.